Hey, so I don't normally make videos, but I thought it would be really worthwhile right now to show people what's going on with Windows 10 and the Linux subsystem. I'm not going to tell you how to install it. Plenty of stuff out there in the wild to look at on YouTube and otherwise. I will say that it's awesome and it really unlocks the possibilities of what you can do on Windows. For example, command shell here. I'm in a GitHub repository. Um, I'm running, you know, git status and uh, everything's fine. Even though I don't even have Git installed on Windows, I have GitHub Desktop, but it doesn't come with Git or any Bash or anything, right? So um, even without Git installed, I'm get, I'm allowed to run Git commands. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that because it's not immediately apparent how to do that. But you know, I, you got the same thing in PowerShell. I'm using Posh Git to get the little master in there to show me which branch I'm on. Um, so I've got that. I can run up the Linux. I can open up the Linux subsystem here on Ubuntu, and uh, you know, say which Git. It's going to tell me it's in user bin Git. That's where it actually is installed, right? Uh, Git status, same deal. So Git's working across all environments. Um, no virtual machine or anything. One installation of Git, right? That's the power we're talking about here. So how do we forward these commands over? Um, and it's not just Git, it's any Linux commands really that you could do that with. I've created my own uh, folder, documents run, and I've set a path to this location so that all these batch files, which are command files, um, can be run from anywhere. There's git.exe. That git.exe is actually um, not the real one. It's actually this project here, WSL git. That allows you, WSL is the Windows subsystem for Linux. If I was to just open up any sort of command prompt here, type WSL, it's going to throw me into that environment, right? So exit. Um, WSL git is, is just forwarding those git commands, right? So it tells you right here in VS Code, you can just set your git path to WSL git. I renamed mine to git.exe. That's why it says git.exe, right? So even in VS Code, if you look at like this project, for example, um, I'm going to just add some text here, save it, and you will see those changes reflected on the left. Come on. There it is. See? So I see the diff there. Everything's good. Get status here. Now I can see that there's some changes. So that works really well, even, even with VS Code, right? Um, so I'm going to show you some other things I've forwarded over here. Let's see, like Git's, I don't actually need these Git ones anymore, but, you know, now that I have Git.exe here, but these are little shortcuts, like GS for Git status, uh, GC for Git commit, things like that. I have some things that throw me in the folder that I want to be in, the ls command, I, you know, that's not a Git command, obviously, but it's just a Linux command that I can forward over to the WSL as well. Um, and just create as many, as many of these as you want for the ones that you find are important, right? And uh, so I can just open up this uh, command prompt, type ls, and there you go, right? Like, so that's, that's just, that's all I wanted to show people today, just the, the unlocked possibilities that you can have with Windows 10 and the Linux subsystem on Windows 10. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.